Marcus down there. Uh, they're confident, it looks like, in Darshan's case. It can still be a lane bully. It's a very swingy matchup, almost mm -hmm. regardless. Just requires some good dash control. stun because he's seen pull the meat cast. Now that's happened, and now he has to be afraid of the stun. And here comes the Cancel. attempt of the gank. Dronach is here, though, right into the CC, and he read the entire play. Said, hey, back me up for the level three gank. It's gonna happen. First, the double long sword of Darshan. And here comes a bit more. The body slam is in. As after go for the flash hook, he does. Lemon flashes the dodge for now. More plants coming up means oh, some where's damage. Uhi? Can the mid laner show up? Yes, who he is here. No flash lemon. He should not be able to dodge seismic shove. Jukes back. Doesn't even need to cast the spell. Gets the kill. Donated over. Thanks to the roam and who he's a better level. No chance. This, this is a guess from COG that he's not gonna hit level six. They're going for dive. Gonna get a lot of damage out of that one. Not a lot left to do. Has the dash. Doesn't matter. The dice. Not there, only sliced apart, and now Darkness got a dart up yet, and it's still happening here. Hook's gonna land on elimination. Here comes the root. That's not gonna get a land, but the follow-up is still there. The damage then thanks to ignite kill goes through to the Zaya. Oh, here we go. Darshan, the Dominus had been popped, and he's got no way out away from balls. Has flash available and clears enough distance off that wall. Now Dardock is gonna backfill the play. Body Slam's gonna land for a shield. Ball still has full rage and a flash. Explosive Cast gonna disengage him, keep Darshan safe. And someone who could stack armor, because you need to actually win the game before people can stack armor. They're going mid lane, though. Body Slam flashes there high as Flashless himself. The damage keeps coming through. The Root's gonna land, sticks it, getting his second kill. This time roaming to the mid lane. After there, see which turret they want to kill with that right now. Looking for the hook, maybe. High gets a shock out of two. Root's gonna land. They might pick him up. There's the first damage, and the kill comes through. But it's a trade back as High goes down. Rift Hill comes in the mid lane, and CLGC, we're gonna attack that one. Flash was otherwise cordoned off. More damage to the turret. Explosive cast only puts him into the wall, though, does not really deliver him to the team. And Rift Hill will only get three quarters of that turret. They flash play for sticks, they can't. So the Dark is back in time. More engaged. Oh, there's the shock blast. Oh, picks up one. Boy. They pick up two. Now Turtle's gonna be dove on. That's gonna be three. The shell not gonna save him on this one. And suddenly Darshan must choose if he wants to flash at the base or not. Or just wait for the minion wave. And out he goes after clearing it out. Mid lane 2 2 has fallen. CLG win that fight three, actually four to the dice. He kept trying to team fight. Uh oh. Wow, down he goes. Yeah, Dardock had some gold in eye, but instead the rest of the team was right. It's the pressure me. that you were talking about, Jack. Pull the team down to that side of the map, and there's no one here to steal away the Baron. CLG grabs that cleanly. Darshan, can he get away? Looking with the satchel. Yep, on the turret. Puts on the hypercharge. Two more autos will kill it. The minion's gonna make the rest of the work happen. Darshan, uh -oh. getting a bit of gold. Rune King for the flash. Shock is still gonna land. His flash was down. QSS turns out to be nothing. I think he might have got rid of a wreck and stuff. Right, and it's not even that severe, like, but I agree. It's, it's certainly a long way coming if that does eventually happen, but you're right. Maybe infinite items 20 hours into the game. Flack has just a bit of a scaling advantage. Either way, though, the Siege has continued pretty well. They didn't wait for the Baron. They just simply put the resources as a 2-0-3 split. Top of inhibitor is dead. Botley maybe follows Shocker. Only gets the tank. That is not the best target. Here comes the first damage. Can't quite kill off high, but meanwhile, the knockup is there and the kill off on an Aphromu. Flack from Stick Slate fight continues as Dardot goes down. The hard engage is there. Knockback not going to kill off the tank. And with the rest of CLG separated, way of knowing that Moon is here. They know there's a control where They don't know that Moon is here. Can he get the steal? Jumps to the wall. Not going to get it in time and just repels back down to the blast cone. A little bit later. You can all get out of your own base because this one is ours. The northeast side all belongs to Counter Logic Gaming. It's their turf, it's their territory. They're looking to take down the Nexus as well as the minions yep. are now flooding in through all three lanes. Finally did it. Triple inhibitors with Baron buff up. They're going to need to get those minions finally in because FlyQuest can go back and recall and uh, get their health up pretty quickly. So you need that total onslaught of Baron Empowered minions from all three waves. But they should get that pretty soon, and then it's going to be a desperation fight for Black West. Yes. Here comes wave number one from the top lane. Baron buffed up, and high just trying to wave clear it. CLG waiting around. Bot lane going to get cleaned out nicely, and now mid lane comes in. Not troopers yet for this one, but here comes the double wave, looking for a bit of damage. And again, safety and concern. They get away from the shotgun by the most part. Shield comes in. Here comes the attempt. They're going to land the root this time, and the Darshan. He stays alive, though, and falls. First, get right back out. Shockwave's going to land for a lot of damage. Oh! There's the roots coming across. That fight the storm nearly takes them all out. A knock up from Zyra doesn't mean too much. Shock Blast didn't quite get any kills either. CLG crest 66,000 gold, and now the TV back in for Darshan to make sure he's full health. Ready to close this one out. They're not getting any damage on the yeah. turrets, and of course, Flyquest have access to their own base, but here come the gigantic waves. The hook and the high. There's the first kill through the stun. Not gonna matter from Balls Renekton. Second kill comes in, and now the minions are too much. There's not enough players alive anymore. Stun for Dardock. The chase for Turtle gets himself the kill, true to his name. Wanting to dive to flash forward to get at least something out of the scoreboard. Three kills for him, but it is simply not enough. Counter Logic Gaming stayed in control the entire game and are going to close out game one here. Yeah, and if you look at the scoreboard after not watching this game and you see a 12 kill to seven. Line up together. Who's going to counter the Renekton? It's going to be Jarvan at the top lane for balls. 
Yeah, really like Jarvan in top lane, especially with stuff like Galio or Orianna in the mid lane that can combo. Up. Out he goes. The Flash Cocoon, though, he knew he was on the bottom side of the map. Why is Huhi on the bottom side of the lane? First Blood comes through. Nice pickup by a moon, but Huhi should never have Maybe a top lane dive. As they're going to pop the ult with Darshan. He's going to land the Empowered Stun. There's Body Slam and not Explosive Cast just yet. Cataclysm comes across, jumps back oh. out of turret range. Going to stay safe for now. They switch out, goes back in. There's a kill picked up for the Flash to keep them all safe. CLG. Really couldn't have played it. Up front gold, so so far so good. A little bit of play on this one. Shango gonna hit only on a support. Who he has one more charge. The other comes in for the dive. They're gonna land the stun on Zyra as well. Flash for almost nothing. Elimination. Likely to lose his life, but actually able to walk away with it. So that's worth it. Now, meanwhile, a counterattack trade as Moon dives in with the rest of the squad and Balls picks up one. But a double kill for our shot. Explosive cast from downtown picks him off. The fight still continuing on AZ3 versus two, and Darshan will not be refrained. The flash over the wall, Stick say wants him to take it down, and Wild Turtle wishes he could do that and stay alive as the ace comes through six to three. Certainly great play that it kind of allowed the gaming to just aggressively going for the one. Now it's going to be the shot, but picks off a kill, though. The charm is coming across. Not going to land the arrow, but maybe it's enough to keep him alive. Ooh, he forced to cut away. Five HP left on him, runs away from Moon. Can they find high though? He's flashless, stung gonna land for Darshan, who looks like the needle has moved enough. That Renekton is gigantic, and Moon can't get the damage under Dardock. Runic echoes or not, so Counterlogic Gaming for that one. We'll see how much of the tier two they can get in the bow. Oh, wow, the flash, but ooh, that was nice by Balls. The actual ulti keeps his teammate alive, holds the front line as long as he can, but he's running out of health. Damage still coming through, one more shot. Stick to take him down with the volley. Oh. We'll see if that script can be flipped later on. The Shockbugs have not yet found the target. And High, meanwhile, gets found himself. And just a dance out of Dardock. Let's who he gets the kill the rest of the way. Africa's an assist for the shield. And that's a tilter. Waiting for Balls to use his EQ on Wave and then he's going to go in. And there's the kill underneath the turret. They use the two level lead final this time around to get the kill. Coming through to steal. Zyro put down for Vision, and they are pretty much out of options. Who he waiting in the wings, looking for Wild Turtle. He is in Fog of War, and CLG hoping for. There's the everything, and Turtle does get away with it, though. The QSS, time going up, explosive cast brings in Elise. There's nowhere much for Moon to go. His life bar is waiting, but he's going to be all right with this one. A quick summon heal, quick shield, and here comes Ball in the back line, forced to flash out. Eco over the wall, but he is by himself alone. The team not there to follow up. Who he going back in, cutting back and forth. Two kills picked up. A turtle goes down high, makes it a third death. And now it's just a couple of squishies left alive. And a double slow comes in for the volley. Flash away for Moon. And Lemonation's got nowhere. He's got no kingdom left. He's bad. Insurgents come in, take it away. The Lemonation has fallen. A new government here to rise up. As their armor with his Q or knock him up with E and Moon. They see him. Alone, Survivor. There shouldn't be much room to do. Here's the Renekton. There's the explosive. Okay. But with Re Repel down, he can't get over. His no, flash is no, down. No, the no, code no. is down. He can't steal. There's no possible way. The skill shots actually don't travel over walls, so Moon could not steal. And Baron Ash going to be last hit successfully by Darshan. What can't he do this game? No assist for that one, but who he on a rampage? Can't die? No, he hasn't many die. ways of initiating. Afro is maybe dead. Oh, no. He's he doesn't have flash. He's just going to die. Oh, he's oh. gone down, and Wild Turtle guns him down in broad daylight. Oh, there's traps behind him. Basically delaying their push. They might try a dive anyway. Here we go. Oh, there's a body slam. Goodbye. Kill picked up. 4v5. They don't even need Afro move. QSS doesn't mean too much. Doesn't flash away. Shrug it by some time. Doesn't matter, though. Two kills picked up underneath the turret. Knockup is through, though. They're going to take down Huhi if they have the damage, and they do. But the trade is there on the ball. The body slam to follow through. They're going to knock this one down. High is gone. A double kill once again for Darshan. 9 0 and 4. He is unkillable. And that was 4v5 as well. I mean, Afro yeah. move was gone after getting soloed up by Wild Turtle. So COG playing with a ton of confidence. And Darshan is out of control this game on the Renekton. And still not having a good game himself. It just feels like it's flasher from Darshan. Certainly some good yeah. stuff out of the Gragas wearing a Fnatic jersey on his skin. He's got a championship cup in his arms and maybe CLG headed for it this split. That's a bit of a wreck. We're going to see as they go for the Nexus kill right now. Darshan is ignited. He's taking a third shot and he's going to die. The Immortal is down and Darshan is going to lose his life. And it looks like there's not enough time to win the game now as they're going to clear out the mini waves and just walk yeah. away. But a turret for a kill, not too bad. Very Muff is down. Stixay is actually massive as well. Three and a half thousand gold is inventory as well as the three items he already has purchased oh, the teleport in though, trying to turn this around. Oh, it's a 4v4 as Moon is dead, but missing Darshan. Maybe oh. better. There's the chase down. They picked up one sticks. They try to kite away. He's got the life too, but it's not enough as Balls does pick up the kill, but he's going to lose his life for it. Flattened down is now high. Wants to be in the mix, but he's not going to kill a tank. So another, looks like a two for one, three for one in Damn favor of CLG as they took down Balls, Turtle, and Lemonation is cost for just Stixay. The Ash Arrow flash forward right there. <laughs> Almost dead again. Uh, All right. Die. 
Karma is not his champion, man. I just. Yep. There's something about it. But CLG is his team, and here comes the re-engage. Hootie wants the chase, doesn't quite land the charm. Dardock low ignited on. And it's just oh, five there. They're going to lose inhibitor. They're going for the engage. They're going to find Stixay, who can't get away with this one. Finds a stun. Here comes Stranglethorns, and just barely kites it out, staying alive. The chase on a turtle. Nice flash forward, picks up the kill. Oh, Meanwhile, the like, last time, who he hoped for, like, Jaren. Charms. This is getting really interesting. I mean, this is a uh, game of chicken right here, because right. they can get the Baron, but there's a Renekton in their base. There's a Renekton in their base, but he's only got the one wave to deal with right now. There's a little bit of time, and Ball's going to recall. Looks like there's no jungler in sight, and that's going to be a Baron picked up by FlyQuest, so a bit something for them. But it's Dardock who stopped the recall, so Darshan's still pushing, and Asher was sent across that building off the turret, so getting very little for himself, but now Moon a bit alone, finds a stun, finds himself taking some damage, and Darshan suddenly has joined the fray, and Moon is going to be taken down in that one. He's going to respawn in about a minute's time. My wild trigger getting the one crit on him, followed by the ultimate. That was really what allowed them the time to get there. All right, so they've got themselves the Elder Dragon to the cannon's damage. That's the only thing you don't get out of it. And we'll see what can come in next for this one. More pokes back and forth for their lightning damage crit comes through. Still wait to make the siege push forward. 10,000 gold with CLG ahead. Baron buff on for 25 more seconds. Elder Dragon timing out in about five. Gonna find another stun, gonna find the engage. Spangler's gonna knock out the front line for a bit, but look at the charm blocking out even more time against the uh, the jar in the front line. Wave. The shot the trade of one for it's one. Marksman down, double kill for the Caitlyn. Wild Turtle puts on the damage output, and that'll be a third. Successful defense for Flyquist. Live to fight another day. And that popped the shield. And then they killed him. And, oh, stun. Stun. and he's gone. The mage is there. And look at the damage output put through. A little bit of support comes out of the mid lane. Nice cast brings oh. in Moon, but the Spiderlings take Sabi plays to their own. There's a stun right on the Moon. He's got no way out. Explosive cast pulls him in. Do they have the damage? Here comes a body slam. And it's going to be a kill off on a Dardock first. He is gone. Stranglethorns to buy some time. Hoogie in the back line, so 4v4. Moon is dead. The trade of junglers. There's the kill back in the back line as well, but they've tapped down onto Hoohee. 3v3. Shockwave misses. Stixay stays alive. Big shield comes out from Aphromu. And a health bar lead to CLG, but Turtle with the range, with the speed, with the shield. Can he be the carry that FlyQuest needs? And right now, he's putting in the damage. He's putting down the traps. He's finding the cupcakes, but getting poked out. Yeah, FlyQuest holds the edge here because they have double soul inners and AD alive, whereas who he is dead and Afro is a support, but he's gonna, gonna go in anyway. Play. They're gonna find the stun, but he's gonna QSS right back out and kite Darshan, and Darshan doesn't have the cooldown to make it happen. It'll be a trade that was six. They're gonna try to kite out balls. Turtle needs the attack, and actually, it's gonna be just the two kills for none. Look at the fight at a FlyQuest. CLG wanted it, but as you mentioned, Jack, it was sure. advantage. And FlyQuest is playing the defense exactly the way they should, so Baron over to FlyQuest. Baron number two from losing side there. Crits on minions with a headshot. That is not champion damage to be clear, but still, down goes the inhibitor. No charm quite gonna land for Huhi. And it's now 100% crit speed off the Warlord's box, but I actually don't like Shock wave! Afro's got a shield and he's dead! Wild Turtle picks him off. Here's the collateral dive into the front line. Another kill picked up. It's a double here for Wild Turtle. FlyQuest needed a carry down to the bot lane, and finally now he shows up into this one. Still seeding now for bot lane. Tier 2, a flash at a moon to stay away. From the charm, a stun and a who he means not too much. Bot lane's gonna fall. A charm is on a turtle. Oh, nearly goes down. A good locket shield comes out, I believe, from somebody. Who he just barely staying alive. Finally picked off with more kills coming across. Darshan trying to pull his weight. But it is the ace for FlyQuest 3v0 with 30 second long death timers in the mid lane they go. Oh man, we talked about these games being a little bit bloody. 53 kills and FlyQuest on the brink of losing the series come all the way back to force a game three. And they're gonna do it. The gigantic comeback is there. FlyQuest and the power of Cloud Drakes and belief in themselves wins game two to tie the series. And oh my goodness, this is the team that re I feel like Ivern works great with Lucian. I feel like a lot of the mid lane target bans that would potentially beat up on Lucian the most are gone. Victor is a late game answer to double marksman, but I still feel like it gets pushed in for most of the early game. I completely pre-planned the route, so obviously Dardock got the attempt of the gank in there, but it didn't pay off. And now Darshan just finds himself a root, walks in the moon. Here comes the shield, not gonna be enough. Still burns down one final auto deck from high. And here's Flag with a good early game for themselves right now for him. And ooh, there's a blitzkrieg over a hook. He's gonna find him. Elimination hooked in the brush. And Dardek was there to help make sure it all happened. Yeah. Hit him. Ooh. All right, stops it, but that's a root. And he's of course taking Minion Aggro still. Moon, I think, can't take Minion Aggro. And he's gonna skip the sleep to stop one more time. But here comes Victor. But same time, here comes Balls. And then here's Aphromu. So the entire team is there forcing to flash out. Nice hook onto this one. Colin comes in, plenty of damage on a Huhi, and there's the explosive cast, pulls in Afro. That'll be a kill, though. Flash with Blitzcrank is down, but here comes Darshan, does have the Equalizer. 
as he cools down. Three, two, one, has an ultimate. Not gonna do anything with it. Just gonna shoot up Daisy, but gets hit in the front. Not that more. Chase Nation gonna find the root equalizer. Not gonna do too much for him. Dart not gonna get body slammed, and look at this. FlyQuest smashed the fight three to one. And these are the types of games that you pick. Knocking down and ignites with the pick. A little bit of a brush for Moon to keep the team safe. They're gonna find him, though. There's the knockup, and the first damage is there. Afro stays alive. Oh. The flash to follow the shutdown. Darshan finally gets himself the big play. Two kills the board. The kick flash there as well. Can they kill off Moon? They're trying. There's the punch, but it's going to be the trade kill as Afro will lose his life. But you gotta say worth it in all time for that one. Three kills needed for Seal. Over the balls. Ooh, that's a hook into a turret. He's dead. He's gone. There's the fruit. Sadly, Afro gets the kill. He kind of deserves the champions themselves, although it does get slowed down. The kick, the flash, and he's only going to knock in the one, though. Equalizer across the team. The hook in on Amu, and he's a pretty low health Ivor, and it's not going to be enough. As one kill's picked up, but it's traded back there. Now in the back line, looks for Huhi. A lot of damage in a turtle. Not going to block much of the damage at all. And now it's on to Balls. More hits coming to him, but not quite hit by the Maelstrom. They want to keep chasing, but they got to be careful. Stops out the body slam. There's no stun to be had. High flashes four to get the kill. Turtle taught him well, but the chase is back on for who he did. They have the damage. One more shot. Oh, do it. Not going to get burned down. Deathfire touch. Not going to take him. The flash, the follow, can he get the kill? Who he now has to face check through a brush. He's going to find Turtle for the damage. The Q's going to hit. He's got one more attack. The cleanse, he gets the kill picked up. Gives him his speed boost when you cleanse off a root. So he gets a little bit back for that. Or that might be Mikhail's. Might be wrong about that flash one. over that final Q. But, oh no, he was channeling. Rift Herald's not going to be summoned. They're going to kill off Moon. Oh no, he ran out of time to have the option. And he summons it in vision range of a Blitzcrank. The kick to Q, but he gives the nation a way out. Maybe a bit greedy, but Equalizer makes up for the mistake. He's gonna go down a two for zero. 100 to be specific. Oh, I found a Blitzcrank and two more enemies. Maybe not the best play. Damage Whoa. on the Strixlay, though, not quite enough. Balls now. The explosive cast makes it worth, but he is in 1v3. Now Moon joins in, the numbers are a bit more tied up. A nice root onto the Blitzcrank after he's slowed down by Ash. Has no way out of this one. Hooked by a bit more time, still picked out for the double kill. Yeah, and that's Star nice. now joins the fight. Elimination, oh. laser. Now, nope, nice disengage with the Strangle Thorns. Could be a stun, Ash. Arrow. And then on any other jungler, but here's the fight. One's gonna be an arrow onto the front line to knock back out of one. Darshan flash to get himself back to safety. Equalizer comes down at the last second. Apple not quite dead in the back line. They go looking for Moon, kicks him into the team. They're gonna get the kill picked up, but it's a trade. Is they're gonna lose Blitz Frank, but a kill back on his high goes down. Stixie getting that one redemption to buy some time. Keeps balls healthy enough. Here comes Darshan, Dardak once again. Look for that. And it's gonna be balls flash away, sting himself alive. So, plus one to Ruby Sight Sun done for Moon. Of course, that gives you active item cooldown for the redemption, everything else. Now it's gonna be a stun. They're gonna find out on the balls. The equalizer on the back line as well. Blocked that a bit by Locket. Rooted more damage to the Chaos Storm. And High will block it, but it doesn't matter. The damage still comes through for the Blitzcrank. And there's the Lich Bane. There's the damage elf. But elimination is gone. And it's gonna be Daisy run alive. Well, he tries to zone them. Traps find one six gonna be found out. QS has jumps out. They pull in Moon. That'll be a kill quickly picked oh. up. But they have picked off the Ash already. Turtle is dead. Moon's gonna be next. Two for zero high. One more shot killed off by Stixay. It has to be Baron picked up. Balls TP's into a losing situation, and he's not in range for any kills just yet. CLG gonna let him get away here. And Sieging is not too over the mountain, Drake. There's a flash up. They found Moon. The Asher are not going to mean too much. The locket buys time. So does everything else. And Moon stays alive. They got the kill in a Blitzcrank. It's a one for zero. Advantage to FlyQuest. They couldn't kill off the Ivern if Rami flashed away. Going to find another re-engage. They're going to pick up Huhi if they can. One more shot will do it. The flash four for the shield for Dardoch keeps him alive. And a big stun out of the gravity well. Sticks the force to kite back as well. And Dardoch going to fall down high. Gets it picked up. Falls one hit away from dead. The traits come in, but high stays alive. Two kill for CLG, but it's three. Maybe one more back as Darshan rejoins the fray. Two alive for Chronologic Gaming, two alive for FlyQuest. High flanking on the Lucian. Darshan channeling his TP in the middle of four people while his team was falling back and then having both. They're gone though. Dardoch has to kite away. Here comes the CC for an across who he has to force the Zonius. Now where's the equalizer? Right across the team. First kill comes through, though. Nice pick off and Dardoch. Again, has to kite away from this one. And now it's Ulti's down. CLG gonna make it much harder to siege. They kill off Daisy. What do you really want to do? FlyQuest can start regening back with his Ocean Drake, but yeah. Static Shift turning it off. Such a good explosive cast. Five balls right there to get who he had. No flash with the Nebs on. He's going to Body re slam on a three. Can he get the kill? Not just yet. The knockup is there for the CC. The damage not there. Back four to one for one. Make it a two for one. CLG in the back line. Darshan. Pop in the zone. He's looking for a bit more damage. Dardoch going to land the Q on the move, but he's a tank. He's not going to die anytime soon. They've got to kite no. away. There's a Peacemaker made, and now Stixay in a one versus two. Turtle! He's getting the headshot. He landed the net! A double kill and Dardock gonna be a bro. Maybe tank for him. Not gonna go for it just yet.
kills in 30 minutes. I love League of Legends. I love shouting for teams fighting back and forth. Earth's gonna fall. CLG now have two open inhibitors. The big damage threat first. Every time a hook is down, that's a lot of threat loss for CLG. They're gonna look for the play. Moon could go for the steal. He's gonna try it. He's gonna get it. Moon takes the Baron flash back out. The fight continues. Darnak goes to the front line. Can't kick Missed forward, kick. though. Darnak is gonna die for this one. One more shot, and Balls picks it up. Good cutting back by High to get away with it, and that was a huge play. And now can CLG even get out? It's a 5v4, the health bars are low. And look at the long con, High is around the backhand side. CLG grouped oh up, they have some bolts. Can they find this? Daisy in the front line, looking for the play. Big damage coming across, still fighting back. They have Equals, they have Chaos Storm. They have everything else. CLG gonna keep riding with the minion wave. Dardock still 30 seconds away from respawning. Up in five or 10 seconds. Now Turtles flank. Explosive them. cast fast sticks. He's got no flash. He's got no way out. The shutdown goes to high. They don't get the trade on a wild turtle. He's running away. Who he wants in on this one though? But there's too much haste. He's getting away. Yeah, Arrow got him. him. QSS. He's still out of range. Cues for the move speed. Two more shots will kill off who he. The shot comes through. Oh. Turtle is so he And he's gonna him. die. He actually gets the trade. The fight though is still one. Flag quest. Go three to one in that fight. It's a 4v2. Ability to clear from COG. They might try and win. That's why Equalizer goes down to try and get rid of the minions. The question is how much they can get. One melee minion, one cannon minion survives right now. Inhibitor falls, respawns short enough that FlyQuest will back out. But now... COG is at a disadvantage right here because Darshan had already used Equalizer. Ball still has his and his flash. They're not willing to give up mid lane control because they don't want to give away a Baron Rush. Hook's not going to land. A stun is there on the frontliner. Goodbye to Aframu. It's now a 5v4 and balls flash the way. Sticks safe. Nearly goes down to high. Redemption is reset it. Look at the one shot. They took down Elimination. Both supports are dead. Hui back in on the high. And the mob, Amortius, going to keep alive until Sticks gets a snipe. The kickback is there. Wild Turtle next up on the chopping block. And it's three for one advantage. CLG, they can close the game out of this one. You have to believe. 41 minutes in. Moon going to get shut down. Sticks on a killing spree. 29 and 21 and kills 50 slain so far, and this is the mid lane is gonna be the target, and who he gonna make sure that balls can't be there to defend. 40 seconds now oh on the goodness. respawns. Yeah, and just an explosive series and explosive game can end in such an explosive way right here. Stixa gets all the headshots down the stretch, the snipe on elimination on the side, then the re-engage by Jardock in the cast. Ball's gonna do everything he can, but I don't think he can stop. He's going for the minion wave to buy some time, but it's eight seconds until even Elimination's back alive, and there's the kill picked up. Here comes the minion wave, and there is nothing left to stop them. Counter Logic Gaming threw away a giant lead in game two, but they get their own comeback in game three and close out the series and continue their drive toward first place. And that was definitely not the